Hello and welcome to Lectoria Entertainment Game Reviews. I'm Kevin, and the game I'm reviewing today is sometimes known as amazing, other times known as spectacular, and some even say it's the ultimate of games. Come on, you clicked on the thumbnail, you know what I'm talking about. Spider-Man in all its glory. <clears throat> uh, I'm also joined by CJ. Uh, say hello, CJ. I love this game. He'll also be helping me out with this discussion <laughs> review today. So, it wouldn't be a Lake Toria review if we didn't go over the five points. We're going to be going over reason, story, gameplay, gripes, and rating. Now, with that out of the way, let's get to the review. How does it work? Just like a natural arm. You think of what you want it to do, and... Reason. I think it's safe to say that we're both hardcore Spider-Man fans, but uh, I'm going to ask this question anyway. Uh, why did you get this game? Really, it's because I'm a lifelong Spider-Man fan. <laughs> Spider-Man has always been my favorite superhero, and I've been waiting for this game. And not even just since they announced it, but just having a Spider-Man game in general since Spider-Man the movie too, back on the original Xbox, I believe. Was it either Xbox or Xbox 360? Uh, I believe it was Xbox, I think. And P Xbox and PS2, I think. Yeah, but the Spider-Man 2 game where, and even Spider-Man 3, where you had the open world feel and web slinging all around and you know, saving people and things like that. And then they had the amazing Spider-Man 2 on the Xbox One, but for legal reasons that we won't get into, you can't get that game in the marketplace anymore and to find an actual physical hard copy of it is next to impossible at some places or it's unreasonably priced. But I've just been waiting so long for a Spider-Man game that just gave me that Spider-Man feel. And watching the previews for this game, I knew I was getting exactly what I wanted. Okay, alright, well, I mean, I, I love Spider-Man, and that's why I got this game also. And I'm not going to lie to you and say that I've played every Spider-Man game that's come out, or own every Spider-Man game that's come out, but... After 2005, I pretty much bought every Spider-Man game that came out. I mean, there was a couple that, that I missed here and there. Those amazing games found its way into my spectacular collection. You see what I did there? I hated what you did there. But because it's Spider-Man, I love it. <laughs> Kiss now? Story. When it comes to comic books and movies and video games, I'm that comic book nerd that says that didn't happen in the comics. And normally when Hollywood or a gaming studio does a comic book game, they tend to butcher the story or extend the movie that it's based off of. This, there is an exception though. I do like the Telltale series, Batman and the Guardians of the Galaxy, both quality games. This story surpassed both those games. Real talk right now, I have not finished the game at all. And I just spent most of my time collecting bags, taking pictures and fighting crime because I love Spider-Man and I kind of don't want it to end. But it doesn't take a Shakespeare to figure out what's going on. I mean, they have been throwing the Sinister Six in your face nonstop. And if you saw the trailer, you, you kind of saw this coming. The way they set up this game made me enjoy it. I never thought of Otto Octavius as an optimist. I, I mean, I've seen him as a meek, quiet, or outspoken and arrogant. I like seeing that relationship between Peter and Otto. In fact, I, I like seeing the Peter side of Spider-Man. What about you, CJ? I agree with you and, you know, full disclosure, I as well haven't finished the game and I have no intention on finishing the game anytime soon. Because every time you get out of like a main mission and it says, you know, oh, there's this new stuff that pops up, I'd rather go do the new stuff that pops up before I get back to the regular story. Like I have all the backpacks, I've done all the photography, I've even done all of the Black Hat missions so far. So like I'm doing all of the side missions and anytime you know, you're swinging through and you hear on the police scanner that something's going on, I immediately stop what I'm doing and go solve that crime. <laughs> 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 and and, and well, he's right, I just don't want the story to end. 
and it is a very good story so far. Okay, so out of the, I guess, from what you've played so far, what character seems to stick out to you the most, or that you like interacting with? Um, there's a couple, there's a few different dynamics that I really, really like. I like Yuri and Spider-Man's relationship back and forth. Spider-Man being himself and Yuri like, I have no time for your shit, but I enjoy it anyway. Type attitude. I really love that. I like the relationship between Aunt May and Peter. Um, Uncle Ben's already dead. You no, know, we don't have to relive or beat that dead horse anymore. And like, just the dynamic of their dialogue is touching. I want to see where, um, spoiler alert, Miles Morales and Peter Parker go further in this story. Because I feel like there's something there. And even him and Mary Jane. Like, the fact that they're not together anymore. And they don't really tell you why. But there's like this will they, won't they kind of attitude with each other or you, you don't like sometimes you think maybe peter's reading too much into it but then the next scene of dialogue between the two of them, like oh maybe he's not reading too much into it Ooh, are they gonna get back together i hope they get back together so it's like one of those things where <laughs> so there's so many relationships in the game that i i enjoyed even his conversation while fighting um shock you know what i mean like even his dialogue with villains like when you're facing kingpin or shocker in the beginning of the game this is a world that is already established and i love it so much it's established in a way that you can be a novice at spider-man and still follow it or you can be like us that know a lot of backstory and can enjoy the little easter eggs that you say i'm totally behind that and just for the record i just want to say that this aunt may that they have in this game is the perfect aunt may she's not too old she's not too young she's just right there she doesn't look like she's gonna fall apart if someone hits her and at the same time she doesn't look like she's like 30 something lady and you're like well what, what, what's going on here what, what what kevin's trying to say is it's not the old decrepit woman from the token mcguire spider-man it's not marissa tomei from the latest rendition of spider-man <laughs> two totally opposite <laughs> ends of the spectrum like sally field she was Aunt May. <laughs> yeah i guess i guess like sally field she that's fine all right Real talk, guys. The Destroy New York stick is getting old. Gameplay. Now, this game looks very, very beautiful. Uh, tell me a little bit about the gameplay and what you liked about it. I like that they didn't overcomplicate things or try to change a formula that works. One thing that I hate about video games is that from version to version or when you have like a long gap in between games, they try to do too much to gameplay. They took the formula that works with the old Spider-Man games, like the old open world Spider-Man games, and just kind of refined it, retextured it, and just gave it to you in a better looking package. In the last three Spider-Man games that are on consoles, it was pretty much you have missions, you have side missions, you have Easter eggs, and you have people to save throughout the city. And while like saving people can get repetitive, when it's loaded with so much content behind it, you enjoy doing it. Because you get to level up, you have a whole leveling system and things like that. So now it actually matters. And I like that aspect of it, that fighting crime throughout the city actually does matter when it comes to upgrading your character. But ultimately, I like that they didn't change the system that wasn't broken. They just said, all right, we're going to put a fresh coat of paint on it. And I love that. I mean, there are many things that stand out about this game, um, like the quick time events. I think my favorite quick time event is when you're falling and you have like the little dot you got to put in a circle and hit R1 in order to grab somebody just in case. Or maybe when you're in the middle of a fight and your spider sense goes off and you avoid the attack, but then you continue your fluent combo. Or maybe finding like the highest point in the city and being able just to free fall. All those things were, were, were super awesome about that game. The, the leveling system was pretty cool. The one thing I should mention is the costumes because I'm all about customization. And the way they set up these costumes or, or Spider-Man costumes were all, was awesome because each one had its own special ability. So you get to choose how you play the game and how you look. I will say that the gameplay sticking to what works, especially with this type of game. Gripes. 
This game is a me- uh, Okay, okay, I'm not gonna go through all that again, but it's safe to say that I really like this game, and, and so did you. I have one gripe with this game, and that's the web slinging. You don't know how annoying it is to chase somebody and suddenly start diving when you should be swinging. And this may be user error on my part, but it's very frustrating swinging through the city, trying to stop a bomb from going off, and then you're stuck on a wall or not on the same level as the, as the bomb, and it just goes off. This is the only thing I hate about this game. I think it's more user error because I haven't had any problems web slinging personally. I do know me and you have different styles of gameplay. So it could be you're doing too much and, or I'm not doing enough, who knows. But my only gripe with this game is camera angles. Really? During, during combat, sometimes the camera is off. And not, not just, not like off like from a standpoint that it can't be fixed. So let's say you're going into a combo and using your spider dodge like at the same time sometimes the camera doesn't follow you all the way right and, like you may get hit once and it's really quick it's not something that like gets you killed but it will get you hit once or twice i think you just have to remember to keep hitting your spider dodge and you'll be fine but sometimes the camera just doesn't follow you with the fight and i've gotten that a few times and that's probably my only gripe that i have so then when you get into a fight, is it that you can't find who's who's there or you know that there's someone in that corner, but when you try to throw a punch, you don't know what you're hitting? Yeah, it's more of like, I know someone's there and I'm engaged in combat with them, but because of the camera angle for me moving around and dodging, there might be a truck impeding me seeing myself. But then I have to just kind of move again. I'm like, okay, there I am. It's not too bad. It really only happens in like street combat, not roof combat. And it could just be the angles that I'm taking. I guess the camera does follow you, but it could, it, again, it could be user error more so than the game having an issue. Um, and it's not enough to get me to stop playing and it's never gotten me killed in the game. It's just one of those things like, oh, that's kind of annoying. Oh, well, I still won. On to the next crime. Get off me. We got this. Yeah, sure you do. <sighs> Rating. It doesn't feel right giving this game a rating because I didn't finish the story. And to me, a, the story is the big part of the score. The replayability is definitely there. The customization is close to what I wanted, but not quite. And the story, well, from what I've seen so far, it's good. Like, could be its own television show good. So... I guess when I'm thinking about what I'm going to give its rating on, I guess I could retract this once I finish the game, but the rating that I'm giving this game is an 8.5 out of 10 altogether. It, like I said, the replayability was there, the customization was close, but that story from what I'm seeing so far is awesome. I agree with you. It would be unfair to give it a full rating is we didn't finish the story with everything that it gives you from story to all the side missions to the gameplay and to the fact that there's still dlc to come out for this game i believe there's three or four dlcs that we're gonna get i'm going to give this a nine and i say giving it a nine with the option of boosting it to a perfect 10 and the reason i'm willing to boost it is because this is the reason i bought a playstation like this one game made me go out and buy a playstation so it wasn't just a singular purchase like some people who already have playstation i switched whole consoles to get this game i actually talked in xbox parties while playing this game actively telling them that i'm not playing an xbox game with them what wait 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 so you turn on your xbox and then you play your playstation just so you can let other people know what's going on with you yeah you know i like conversations with my friends and just because i switch systems doesn't mean they're not my friends anymore but while they're sitting there playing grand theft auto or nba 2k things like that like my group of friends usually play right i am web slinging saving the city and have no time for their best and I actively tell them, listen, I'm playing Spider-Man. And they are all jealous because they all want to get a PlayStation now because I fucked this game up too. Then I guess that our, our group rating together, if we average our scores, would be an 8.75 until we actually finish the game. So there could be a chance we could do another one talking about the DLC. No, definitely. I can't put this game down. You know what? Let's end this review, Kevin. I'm trying to go play Spider-Man.
Thank you for watching Lectoria Entertainment Game Reviews. I would like to thank CJ for helping me out. Any last words before we head out? No, I'm trying to go play Spider-Man, so let's get out of here. <laughs> if you like what you see, hit the like button. If you're new here, subscribe to the channel. This is Kevin, humbly signing off saying stay safe and watch out for bears. Unless you're Aaron Rodgers.